Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25992. We're closing into the build 26,000 in the Canary channel. So in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Canary channel build. But rest assured that this build is somewhat interesting because we have a few very useful features that we're going to talk about in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by CDKs.top. CDKs.top is a platform where you can get Windows and Office licenses at a very good price. On this platform, you can get Windows 10 Pro licenses at the very good price of just $14 and the Windows 11 Pro license at just $19 when you use the coupon code from the description. To activate the license, all you need to do is to go into the settings app and then search for activation, then click on change product key and insert the license you receive from cdks.top. Check out the great deals from cdks.top in the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon code. First of all in this build we have some SMB changes starting with this build Microsoft is introducing some new server message block protocol changes for example SMB firewall rule changers, SMB NTLM blocking exception list, SMB alternative client and server ports and also SMB over QYC client access control certificate changes and you can find more information about those if you're interested in the article below and the video description. First of all, regarding the file explorer, Microsoft did some work which should help noticeably improve the performance of opening large zip files in the file explorer. Also a huge thing in my opinion, Microsoft added support for creating 7-zip and tar archives in addition to zip. As you all know, Microsoft added the ability in the moment for update for users to open and extract other archive formats such as RAR, 7-zip, tar GZ, and more. Since the release, you were able to create archives with other formats. So in this build, Microsoft is announcing that they are adding also 7-zip and tar archives in the creation process besides that zip. So let's test that out. I'm going to right click on a file and we have here a new section compressed to before it was compressed to zip. Now it is compressed to and we have three options zip file, 7z file and also tar file. It will be interesting if Microsoft will also add RAR and maybe other formats if other users use other formats. But this is huge in my opinion and this is a great addition to Windows 11 and this addition maybe will be released on the main release in a few months. So Microsoft has a lot of time to test this out in the insider channels. Also related to the file explorer snap layouts, Microsoft will now show suggestions in snap layouts that help you instantly snap multiple apps windows together. When hovering over the minimize or maximize button on an app or win plus Z to launch the layout box, you will see app icons displayed in various layout options to help recommend the best layout option that works best. So basically if we're using this, you'll notice that this will be the layout with file explorer store and settings. And you can do that of course with other layouts as well and other apps. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft is also applying a visual change or a fix if we can call it like that. Basically there was a thin line whenever you were focused on a tab in file explorer and you had the scaling greater than 125%. This was noticed by Phantom Mission 3 on Twitter so shout out to him. Related to Windows Copilot, Microsoft is now testing a new position for the Copilot icon which would be in the right side of the taskbar. You'll see some screenshots because on the Canary channel machine I don't have Copilot enabled, but we're gonna see how that looks on the screen. And this will basically do the same things, but it will also close Copilot whenever you click on it, which is also a nice addition. Also in the settings app, then system, then sound, and your preferred microphone, for example, Microsoft has added a new microphone test layout, basically. This was also noticed by Phantom Machine 3 on Twitter. So you can see here, start the test, then talk or play audio at a normal level for a few seconds. And you have a few options here, volume and also start test. I think this is also a nice improvement. In this build, we also have have an update for the snipping tool app to get that one just open up the Microsoft Store go into the library section and then just click on get updates to get all the latest updates that are available for the Canary channel and this will basically improve HDR display support screenshots and screen recording on displays with HDR enabled should be able to better display colors I think that is also a nice improvement now let's talk about a few fixes in this build for example Microsoft fixed the issue causing blank options to show on the personalization and privacy and security settings pages where if clicked on, it would crash settings, fix an issue causing the context menu to draw off screen when invoked using touch or pen on the side of your desktop. They also fix an issue where settings home might show a prompt to sign into your Microsoft account and fail to sign in if you try to use it even though settings itself showed you were already signed in. If you are experiencing quick settings crashes and Win plus A not working in the previous flight, that should be resolved now. And Microsoft also fixed an issue that was causing taskbar icons to disappear after switching desktop. We also have a new known issue in this build. If you go to 
settings and then Bluetooth and devices, and then you select touchpad. This will crash settings. As you can see, settings is currently bugged and crashed. So this will be, of course, fixed in a future flight. So this is the latest Canary Channel build for the Windows Insider program. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is a pretty interesting build. So make sure you install it if you're on the Canary Channel and test all the features out for yourself. And let me know below in the comments what is your favorite one. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.